And now, introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, from Richmond, California, Monica Nile. And her opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, from Visalia, California, Maria. Marcos Rosales. This is that modified amateur Muay Thai at 137 and 132. Female fight for the promoters. The title, the Pack Fighting Championship. We got Monica Knightley out of Richmond, California. And she is wearing the red trunks in the red corner. And her opponent, Maria. Gary Gogian. Gregorian. Uh, thank you, sir. In the blue, blue chunks out of a blue corner. These girls are just going after each other. This, this is our first title fight of the night. Oh, well, nice work. Oh, oh nice very body nice. shot. Very nice shot to the body here. Yeah, Monica's working those inside knees to the body there. Well, Maria out of T Elite Team Visalia. Doug Marshall, you hear him in the back background yelling and screaming. Great, great technique. Ooh, big left round kick right there. The, the Cheo Motai girl, Monica Niley out of Richmond, California. She's 1-0. She's out there fighting her tail off for this title, working hard. How much does the distance you have to travel factor into a fight there, Jason? I used to have to fly to Vegas to fight for the UFC. Nah, nothing. I like traveling. But, you know, it's different for everybody. If you got to cut some weight, it could have an effect. If you're not cutting weight, ah, it's pretty easy. Very nice. So what's neat is the stylistic difference here with the southpaw versus the standard fighter. Monica in the red trunks, red corner, is in southpaw stance. And here we go, round two of this exciting title fight. See Mo Monica ranging with that jab. But Maria counters with that right hand. Little clinch work here. Maria's driving in. Nice straight left from Monica. Great inside kick from Maria. Maria in the black trunks with blue trim. Your Doug Marshall screaming in his corner for his girl. I got to say, Jason, the more and more we see these girls in the ring from previous fights, you know, we can see the progression of their training and how much better they're getting every time we see them. Oh, absolutely. I, women in MMA, women combat sports is huge now. And you see the girls taking a lot more serious and really going up there. I mean, this is a title fight right here. Yes. You know, this is really exciting. This is going to be the first pack female title. You know, we're going to decide that in two nights. Which is incredible when you think about it. You know, we used to think about girl fighting, and, and you know, it was a lot uh, less damaging than, a, than two guys fighting. That's a beautiful right round kick to the upper thigh hip. Very nice. <laughs> but now, Jason, we see the aggression. Oh, big head kick. That was a big head kick right there. Powerful. A lot of respect between these two fighters. A lot of respect. Less than 10 seconds. Neither of them trying to steal the round here. They're just fighting. Great second round. That was a beautiful head kick. Luxury 
All right. And here we go, round three. The Sal Lixic matchup of the Southpaw versus Standard. You see how the Standard fighter, her left leg, she's moving to the outside of the lead leg. You want to do that so you can line up your right hand, your right kick, and your left, left hook. Vice versa, your Southpaw fighter wants to step to the outside of the lead leg of the Standard fighter to line up the left hand, left kick, and the right hook. I see. Oh, hear that impact on that cross? Oh, oh, knee narrowly misses. Nice straight left for Monica. Nice inside kick right there. We've seen something fly. As Marco kicks it out. <laughs> right? Hope that wasn't a glass tooth. Right. <laughs> oh, nice combination there. Deep jab there. Yeah. It seems like they're uh, keeping a little bit more distance in between. Them. Nice right hook right on the money from Maria. Monica's just using those range punches, those kicks. Maria needs to make a move here. She needs to make her press as we come into the backside of round three. There you go. Nice kick from Monica. That left kick to the inside thigh of Maria's left thigh. You can't take too many of those. No, you can't. Tell you those kicks add up and you know, it makes for a bad day the next day. And that is round number three. And here we go with round number four. Into the championship rounds here. You see Monica ranging, but Mariah comes in and starts unloading. You heard this crowd. Getting excited. What you think of that crowd support there, Mondo? Oh yeah. They are here and they are loving it. Nice round kick there from Maria. Reminiscent of round number one. The energy is high right now. Ooh, big straight left, right on the money. One thing I've noticed is Monica doesn't do a lot of angles here. She's more of an in-out type of fighter. Maria tends to move a little bit more at the angles. She's trying to work that outside left angle like she should. You hear Doug Marshall just screaming commands. Nice round kick there that lands on the hip of Maria. And here we go. This is where it counts oh, the nice most. Nice combination, but gets punished with the right hand. Another right hand from Maria. A third one. Right, we got a equipment malfunction getting readjusted here. Marco Rosales, good friend. They're Great on the, ref. the shin guard. Twisting up a little bit. Oh, on both fighters, you can see. tuning of the uh, wheels for both fighters. Oh, yeah. Make it a little pit stop here. <laughs> now, I'm beginning to wonder if into this round and in round five, if conditions going to be a, become a factor for Maria. She breathes through the mouth a lot right here. Yeah, you can see her mouth wide open right now. Now, you see Monica paced herself real well, not, not breathing so heavy, so deep. Oh, nice knee that's perfectly blocked. And here we go, round number five. The championship round, the money round, and here we go. And the crowd chanting Armo, which is the nickname of Maria. Oh, big head 
kick. Right on the chin. Mia took that like a champ. She is solid right now. Monica goes in for another chin kick. In between rounds, one of those corners saw something they like, and they're telling her, throw more head kicks. Get those heads up there. She's not through three and landed one, one and a half of those. It's like you were mentioning earlier, when a fighter listens to the corner, they, they tend to land, and the outcome tends to be better. Oh, absolutely. Look at that. There it is again, Jason. Oh, nice combo with a straight left. You're such intensity from her corner, Doug Marshall. You can tell Doug puts everything he can into his fighters. Another straight right, or straight left from Monica. Maria doesn't seem to have an answer for this left leg onslaught, left arm onslaught that Monica's putting out. The crowd going wild right now. Boy, this is a pitch right here as we come to the back half to close the second for this round. Maria is still fighting. She is just pressing. She is in it. Deep breath and fires. Hanging on for the last 10 seconds. I see somebody tries to steal. Finish up strong. What a great fight this has been. Tremendous. This decision is brought to you in part by Curbside Detail, mobile auto detailing, trucks, SUVs, and luxury cars. Judge number one scores the bout 48-47, red corner. Judge number two scores the bout 48-47, blue. Judge number three scores the bout 48-47 for your winner by split decision. Fighting out of the red corner!